This is lace. This is a seam. If you are sewing with lace, you don't want the seam to look like this. I'll show you two much better ways to sew a lace seam. First, the lace you use helps decide the appropriate seam technique. This lace is very fragile and sheer. Most lace is lined, and this one would certainly need a lining, but not a typical lining. On a regular lined garment, the exterior wrong side is next to the lining's wrong side, and the seam allowances are sandwiched between. That clearly won't work for this lace because the seam allowances show through the lace. In this case, you need to underline the lace. Cut the lace with an extra lining layer and sew the double layers together along the seams. Then, line that unit as you would any garment. This produces a lovely seam, but the motifs don't flow exactly from one to another. For that, I'll show you another way to sew lace seams. This method works best for lace with body. Before cutting the lace, thread trace the seam lines on the lace from your pattern with a contrasting thread. Match the pattern pieces with the lace as you would any substantial print. When you cut the lace, don't cut it as you would fabric along the cutting lines. Instead, cut outside the seam lines along the major lace motifs. Then, when you are ready to join the lace pieces, align the appropriate based seam lines and pin the layers together. Sew along the lace motif extending over the seam line on the top layer. This can be hand sewn or machine sewn with a free motion zigzag stitch, dropped feed dogs, and matching thread. Pull the thread tracing and carefully trim the lace under layer and any edges that extend on the right side. And then line your lace as usual. With the lace molded to the fabric, this seam disappears. If your lace is sturdy, this same seam technique works without a fabric backing. You can use these techniques on any lace garment. 